This is Lippy. I am ready for the engine room. I'm ready to go down into the guts of the machine, dig up some creative juice, pack it in 20 gallon jugs, and deliver it to the viewers at MTV. So that's me in a nutcase, <laughs> in a nutshell. I am the king of mediocre. This is my, my bare raw secret. And that's what you have to know about me. That is the story hook of my creative life. Here I am. I should be, I should be uh, the one that people are lighting my cigarettes, buying me drinks at the bar. Lippy, where is Lippy? We need to know what Lippy knows. Oh, 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 write down, write down the words. Tell Lippy, tell, tell us all. But I don't get that. I go, hey, Lip, uh, I got a job for you. That's a... Uh, it's not that, you know, it's uh, doing some kids thing over here, and uh, I think you can make some stuff move around and kind of make it look okay. Uh, what are you doing? Are you free? And then I quickly scramble around, well, uh, and then knock some shit over in the background, pretending that I'm, there's a whole office, and I'm really, really busy. But the truth is, uh, mm, I'm not doing anything. I'm making audition tapes. Put me in a room with 20-year-olds. Whoa, what's going on? It's like Survivor, they're gonna eat me. You know, they're gonna vote out the old guy. But, this is my wonderful hook. I have actually taught animation here in the Bay Area. I've been in the business for about 25 years. And I'm more or less, what did I get into? I'm the guy that the team can go to. Oh, let's, the Lippy, so what do you think about this, Lippy? You just have to, you're supposed to know every answer, baby. And maybe I give him the right answer. But maybe I don't. And maybe I'm old enough that I start playing personalities one against the other. Ha, do, cha, da, da. This is great TV, right? This is, this is TV gold, baby. I can see this. I can see me working as an older guy who's a mediocre talent. He's not coming in to run the show. He's going to stand back a little bit. He's gonna have a lot of really good commentary in his little confessional, right? Like, ah, you know, maybe I got a little glass of tequila in this hand. Maybe I got a little glass of bourbon in this hand. Maybe I'm mixing them together and I'm concocting a pretty potent brew. And then I'm talking to you, baby, and I'm saying stuff like, well, uh, you know, Roger over there thinks he's a ladies' man, but I know that he's creating that blah blah totally out of sync and in the wrong frame rate hey i'm not gonna say a word it'll never match up we won you know things like that i have just enough knowledge to make me dangerous but not enough talent to make me unstoppable it's the perfect combination i'm not doing anything there's also gonna be like some weird sex stuff right there's always weird sex stuff look at me no, 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 lip, lip, don't even go there. What, some 22-year-old in a bikini and underpants is walking down the hall because you got to share the bathroom or something? Lip, lip, don't want to go there, don't want to go. Wait, the lip can handle it. The lip will take a look, you know, give a, a kind of a gurn to the camera, like, mm, oh, what did I get into? You know, and then you go, go back to bed. But I'll come back ready to go. Rested, relaxed, and focused on the task at hand. And just to let you know, I have been on TV before. I'm a reality show professional. Yes, I was on the Bay Area's Chet Please food reviewing show. Ah, those were the days. I can still taste the beef bourguignon. Ah. Once you've made your reservation, I, I, I've heard you do your planning of what you're gonna order in the shower, is that correct? Well, Leslie, I like to plan ahead. So when I'm <laughs> and you're soaping up, yeah, you're, well, you know. with, with a big brisket and a little <laughs> corned beef, nothing you know exfoliates like a little uh, little brisket. I am the nutcase. Uh oh, 
I think my family's gonna, they don't know about this. Hold on. Hey, uh, no, I'm not. Hey, I'm not doing a thing here. <laughs> hey, come on in. Funny thing. I was just saying, hey, this is my wife, Jana. Hey, there she is. I tell you, I'm really good with kids, see? <laughs> so, uh, what can you tell us about living with your dad? I mean, One uh... One time told me not to wear a brassiere on the outside of your shirt. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Uh, it's time for me to get back and talk to the good people. I've got some things to do now. So that's really me in a nutshell. You've seen my family, great as they are. They love me, but they know deep down I'm not the great talent I could be. This could be my great break. My big... My big blast, my big send-off. I mean, wouldn't you rather give the money and the opportunity to someone like me who's at the crotchety end of their whole creative life rather than some idealistic kid who's got 25 years to get to where I am now? I count on you to make the right decision in the right place, at the right time, with the right on-air talent, baby. I'll tell you something, Lakey. This is it! This is my moment! Don't take it away from me! I deserve it! Oh, fuck! Well, now you see, I can't even afford the, the right place here. I can't even afford a house that works. I need the money for a repair. Okay. Here's hoping you do the right thing. This is Lip signing off. Remember, go to www.lippy.com. You're going to see everything there. You're going to see a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A lot of mediocre stuff. You're going to love it. It's perfect. Out.